Okay, so I finally have, have K9. His software is done, his complete rebuild is finished. So now I can control him with a navigation controller, PlayStation 3. And I've successfully been able to map the all of the servos. He has full functionality. The game of life board can be remotely reset. I have audio control, uh, um, motion, all of it from just this controller. You can map a series of combinations between the triggers, the D-pad, 0x, PlayStation button, etc. Um, I'm going to disconnect the controller so I can kind of go over the entire initialization sequence. So. So, when you boot him up, Now, when he initializes, his tail will actually go up. Get this camera off of here. So, I'm going to... And that gives me confirmation that the remote is paired. Now you can see the Adafruit Game of Life running in the background. I kind of like it. It provides sort of like an artificial intelligence almost. Just a random pattern uh, based on the game of life rules. Every once in a while this board, uh, this uh, series will get stuck and it will get into a repeating routine. Previously, I had that mapped to a button on the control panel to reset, which would require me to go up to the machine to reset it if it got stuck, which kind of broke the illusion. Now, I have a combo, so I can just remotely restart it. So if I observe that it gets stuck in a logic routine, I can just punch it, which is great. Um, by virtue of the Adafruit Pulse Width Modulation Board, you can control not only servos, but LEDs. And that's given me the opportunity to um, map. Oops, fired off the tail there. I can make him wink. I can also make him blink, which is kind of cool and useful later on, which I'll show you. I have control over the pro. I can do a little laser thing. Maximum defense mode. Maximum defense mode. Let's double tap that. I can also make the tail wiggle. Just kind of cool. Um, I have a separate routine to illuminate the gauges. You can see there, and I can shut them down. Now I actually installed. I don't know if you can see it. There are a pair of actual gauges in there, an amp meter and a volt meter, so I can see what the system is actually doing and what its charge level is. go underneath the cover here so I designed a custom board on the display uh, using uh, the gentleman on the K9 builders forum he has a sketch to do the control panel LEDs so it runs the random pattern going on there so all of those buttons connect up I've also got a breakout for 12 volts across the top and I've got that reset map there as well. 
and because it's attached to the body, I have power going to the antenna and all that stuff. I've got a little uh, terminal strip to feed all of that. So I can actually take the body off after disconnecting the servos and stuff like that, and it all remains attached. Down inside is the main controller. which I'll go into detail about that separately. That's a uh, Arduino Mega ADK with a Bluetooth adapter. Uh, there's a, uh, I designed a shield to mount the um, soundboard and the um, servo board directly to it to save space. And then we've got some miscellaneous stuff for voltage and everything else and the audio amplifier there in the back. We've got standard saber tooth down there in the corner, feeding the motors, and a custom sound box that I built for the uh, uh, audio, which ports out the bottom so you can actually pick up the high end. Now. I haven't finished placing the weights in here. It's been my experience, this guy's too light. I've got 10 pounds on him right now. I'm thinking between 15 and 20 pounds on the drive is necessary to uh, give it the traction to move reliably. So I have to figure that out still, but it works. I can fire off the and we got full control. Right. On top of the animations, I've got random audio routines. Your silliness is noted. Depending on... The theory appears to be ingenious. Certain stuff. I've got specific commands mapped. Uh, 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 Farewell. Uh, as well as some music, so I can, uh... What matters is we can communicate. We've got big problems now. They've taken the blue box, haven't they? The angels have the phone box. What do you mean angels? You mean those statue things? It's not as loud as necessarily I want, which is not too bad. So I thought that would be kind of cute. And then, of course, the wink again. I've got an animation routine with audio and the probe and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, I'll go into detail on some of the function, uh, the actual componentry and whatnot once I get approval to share the sketch and whatnot. But, by and large, K9 is upgraded and finished. So, whole new rebuild electronically. All new microcontroller, all new audio, um, everything. And I gotta say, I'm, I got the uh, basic sketch from a gentleman by the name of Ian Martin, and the ability to uh, tailor the servos off of that I2C board is just brilliant. It makes it so much easier to create the animations and uh, get them up and running. Ability doing exactly what you want. So much so that I'm looking at other projects. But uh, control wise, he's done. I've got a few other little tidy up things, maybe some body locks to keep the body shell attached to the subframe, uh, which is a welded uh, basic steel frame. Uh, that I put together, welded up, and have a like a half inch sheet underneath to mount the motors to and everything else. So yeah, K9 is 90 plus percent finished.